Hello, ranged tubers, and welcome back to Let's Fail at Heavy Bowgun with me, Blue Ankylo. We're playing Monster Hunter World, and we're going to try something slightly different for today's episode. We did a couple kind of normal quests the last couple episodes. Today, we're going to do an event, uh, not an event, sorry, an arena quest, uh, which is, again, I always go the wrong page. <laughs> Plus one Blue Ankylo point for going the wrong page for everybody. Good job. So we're going to, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. How's the hunting? You didn't give me the right quest. We're just gonna leave this quest, and you get to see me pick the quest that awesome. I meant to pick. Well, it's really like professional let's playing here today. Mm -hmm. So all I want to do is an arena quest because I want to show off a heavy bow gun, which I believe that's allowed for the for the Dodongo from uh, uh, the Ocarina of Time. And uh, it's a new monster you guys haven't seen yet, and we're going to do an arena because they give you a preset uh, s batch of gear, basically. So, after you select uh, start quest for arenas, you have to choose one of five weapon types that are sort of quasi-randomly picked for each weapon, however they set it up. So, um, you know, I could pick longsword and you get like a preset uh, that's a... Uh, Thunder Longsword, it's just a less upgraded version of what I had equipped, and uh, I don't know, some random set of uh, items and equipment. But uh, instead of that, we're going to try out the bow gun, which uh, is a fire engine, is a fire bow gun. Um, it doesn't have any specific. Should have fire ammo or something, maybe? Yeah, flaming ammo. Yep, you'll see how it happens. I don't know nearly enough about bow guns to really explain how they work. I'm just going to pick Bowgun and test it out, because uh, I've used it like once or twice. So I sort of know what I'm doing with it, and it'll be kind of interesting, you know. Uh, so Bowguns. Uh, they're, this is a heavy Bowgun. You shoot stuff with it, and you can cycle through your ammo and all that. So um, we're going to start with... Uh, is there any, like, status ailments? Yeah, we're going to start with poison ammo to get them poisoned. Let's see if the arena gives us any special items. We've got flash pods. So we've got like an ability to stun the enemy. We've got paralysis knives, actually. So I could put them to I could paralyze, I could sleep, I can poison, potentially. Uh, and that's pretty much all we've got. So I guess we'll start with poisoning. And then I'll try to paralyze them after that. And uh, we'll try out some different ammo types and we'll see how it works, you know? Um yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to be pretty bad. You don't get any uh, assistance from your cats or anything on these. So, uh... Oops, that... Oh, I still hit. Oh, missed. <laughs> so, unlike the bow, which you saw me fight uh, Basil guys with... Oh, we poisoned him already. Well, that was very convenient. So, unlike the, uh, the bow, which doesn't have ammo per se, when we're doing stuff with the, um... The bow guns, light bow gun or heavy bow gun. There we go. Uh, let's try some uh, piercing ammo here, quick. Oh, I'm too close. Oh man, I'm wasting this paralyze here. I totally wasted it. I did like nothing. Oh well. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to be very good with uh, the the heavy bow gun. Also, I don't think it's a great one v one weapon because you need range to do damage. I'll see if I can get him poisoned again. That did a fair amount of damage. Uh, one of the things about how Monster Hunter has always worked, every time you hit an enemy with a, a status ailment, getting the same status ailment again takes uh, more shots or more afflictions. Okay, so I think he got poisoned. Yes, yeah, so we got two times poisoned on him. That's a nice start. Um... Let me just throw away this last paralysis knife to get out of the way. Let's go for a sleep. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> so, uh, we don't have very good gear. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have eaten my steak before I got in here. That would have been smart. Is that sleep? There's a sort of an animation when you get him to go to sleep. That's it. Alright, so first hit. One good solid hit. We're going to see what we can do here. So one of the... Oh, it's a light bow gun. I've, I was calling it a heavy bow gun. This is not even the right one. It's, it's technically a light bow gun. <laughs> I'm so good I don't even know the difference. So the thing with light bow guns is uh, they drop those little mines around. 
The heavy bow gun has like a sniper mode. That's that's what I know the difference about. Anyway, let's uh, just shoot him through the face, basically. That did a fair bit of damage. We blew up our little mines a couple times. There you go. And he hit the mine that I was hiding behind. Just like I knew what I was doing, right? Oops. Don't reload when he's about to shoot you with lava. Rule number one of uh, hunting monsters. Okay, let's eat our steak. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I'm really good at uh, Monster Hunter, guys. All right, there we go. Now we got more stamina. Let's try a different type of ammo. Let's try some sticky ammo. Uh, the number beside it is kind of like the power of it. So, uh, the more, the higher the number. Uh, this is not good. Nope, that was really bad. Uh, it, it appears reloading sticky ammo takes like a year and a half. So probably not a good idea to do that ever. <laughs> sticky ammo may do a ton of damage, but if you can only shoot it once. And then you gotta do this. And this takes like five seconds. That's not great. Alright. Oh, I was hoping I'd hit him in the head at least. Alright, sticky ammo, I'm not a huge fan of. We've got pierce, we got normal. Uh, demon is... I don't even know if I can get it to apply on myself. It's uh, a self buff. Isn't it? It's... it's uh, you can buff your allies to do more damage. And I don't think you can use it on yourself. So that's probably nothing to worry about. Okay, normal ammo. This is like your bread and butter. Sometimes you can get auto fire. Sometimes you get like slower, but a bit more damage with it. We gotta find out how long it takes us to reload this. Okay, we can reload this on the run. So depending on your bow gun, you've got different uh, reloading styles for different ammo. Um, being able to reload while you move is generally the best. Two shots is not great though. So we'll do a couple normal threes. There's a lot of uh, recoil on that as well. So again, the, the complicated part about uh, the bow guns is more setting up the uh, the gun you want with all the mods and stuff to do what you like. Which I don't know really how to do very well, so... That's why I kind of like having the option to do the arena version where they just give you something that's probably fairly terrible. And, uh, I mean, we're doing, like, 52 damage on a successful hit. Ooh, that almost got me. That one definitely got me. <laughs> Sheesh. I did tell you that I'm not particularly a, a bowgun main. I didn't even know what type of bowgun it was. That's how awesome I am. Alright, let's go back to Pierce, because I like the idea of Pierce ammo. Uh, it's a little bit more ranged, but you can see it does, like... It, it cuts all the way through them, doing a whole bunch of hits. Although, I have a feeling the normal shot probably... I'm, his AoE on those are too, too big. Alright. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, don't worry. I guess the downside is the Pierce gets the really bad uh, reload. I was sure I was out of range for that. Oh, we're stunned? We're so dead. So dead. Well, somehow I didn't die, but... <clears throat> yep, yep. Professional quality let's play. Look, I like the light bow gun. I'm just terrible with it. I also don't feel like it does as much damage as the heavy bow gun. So, uh, I probably should have picked an enemy that was, uh, or an arena fight that I could use the, uh, the heavy bow gun on. Which is what I meant to do. that's doing very much damage overall. Maybe we should try some level 2 ammos. Oops, that was totally the wrong one. Okay, unfortunately Sticky 2 is still a st stand still and get hit. I, I think maybe the problem I'm having is um, the bow gun, especially the light bow gun, is just not very good 1v1. Like, it's really hard I doing? I wanted. That's not what I wanted to do at all. There you go. Have a. I gotta use my mines more. They're, they're like your standard. Probably, 
I don't know, it's like part of the main ability to deal damage on this gun is to use those. Have him smack them and basically hurt himself with the mines. That, that seemed to hit pretty hard. I mean, he's probably nearly dead. I had to take a guess. I do like the, the whatever I call him the do, the Dongo, but like I do like this fight. He's uh he's pretty cool. I dodged twice and I still didn't get out of range. Sheesh. This ranged attacks out of him I'm not used to having to deal with because I'm normally playing longsword. And he never does that. <laughs> or you're just behind him or something. I was rolling! <laughs> I can't even heal up safely. And I'm stunned again. Wow. Alright, never mind. I take it back. I hate Lipo Gun. I didn't I didn't mean to say There we go. At least we got the Superman. I can't I can't do anything but dodge. <laughs> um you know I thought I'd like Lightbo Gun. I thought this was gonna be a fun little showcase. This is terrible. Why are you... Alright. So you're, um... That's not what I meant to do. This move, whatever you call that, your, uh... Your trip mine. It's, uh, it's kind of just on a cooldown. So you can kind of see, uh, above the ammo selection, how much, um... I'm going to try using a, maybe a faster ammo. Oh, uh, so normal 2 has rapid fire. That's why it looks a little cooler. Maybe normal 2 is what we should be doing here. Because he likes to shoot, he likes to uh, use so much ranged on us. This gives me a little bit more, um, a lot more maneuverability. <laughs> and he does that. Which I apparently can never dodge. Alright. I like normal too. I hope he's almost dead. I gotta say. So how's it going guys? How do you like light bulb gun? What do you think? Don't, don't believe that it's a bad weapon just because I'm playing with it not doing anything. It's probably not nearly as bad as it looks in this episode. And he yells again. If I could stop getting hit by everything he did, I'd probably be a lot happier. But, uh, he seems to do an awful lot of damage to this armor set. Like, whatever they gave us, for a uh, light bulb gun does not tank damage very well. Oh, I still have a couple, uh... Yeah, I forgot about those. I still have my flash pods. That will, um... It, it, it's, it confuses them a bit, so I don't know how valuable that will be. He won't be attacking right at us for a little while, but maybe it cuts down on his ranged attacks for a minute. Probably a good chance to reload if he's if he's not going to do ranged. Nope. Even though he was confused, or he might, maybe he broke out a bit. Well, we probably could have gotten a bit of an opening from it, so that maybe I'll try that again. Good. He, he turned right when I wanted to get that nice pierce shot off. Come on. So maybe piercing while he's confused is part of the problem. Because he doesn't look at you. So you can't get... Uh, you can't get full damage because he's, he's moving around. Speedy. Take that. So the reason I'm trying to put the mines like right beside him is because he does lots of ranged attacks, 
if if I'm far away from him I and mean, I drop those mines down, there's a reasonable likelihood that he'll um, just spit fire at them and blow them up without taking damage. The the mines work best, you know, when they hit them. <laughs> uh oh, mistakes. So I've burned through like all my potions. The uh, monster is still definitely not dead. This is going to be the best arena fight you've ever seen. It's going to take five hours. Now, Dodongos, or whatever they're called, are really not very difficult enemies usually. Uh, just because this is taking me forever with a light bow gun does not mean he's actually very strong. Um, that seemed like a pretty good shot. Doing his charge. I just can't decide if I want to stick with normal or pierce. Freak. <laughs> I just wish that I could not get hit by those every time he did them. It's like once he starts doing his spit mode, I have to just run forever. Oh, so he dropped uh, a pod. See there, he's wasting my um, trip mines. Managed to hit him with one of the pods. Well, he did a fair bit of damage. <laughs> oh man! I keep. I sorry for the helicopter. The helicopter has really been bothering me a lot today, trying to make my recordings here. Can't move in time. <laughs> Every time I try to use like reload or switch ammo, <laughs> just all right. So maybe in hindsight, this was the worst enemy to show off the light bow gun. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't dodge it. It's impossible. How are you supposed to not get hit by that? Like, I I rolled away from it? Well, we're going to go through the last few potions. Pro like, this is going to be my longest episode of Monster Hunter ever. And it's supposed to just be a quick showcase of, like, maybe I'll just... <laughs> maybe no one will ever see this episode. It's just going to get lost. <laughs> well, that would be dishonest. I got to show off how bad these weapons are. I mean, I, I got to say, the damage output is not impressive. And apparently once you shoot, you can't get away from his, uh, his projectiles in time, so. I'm, no, I'm really not sure how you're supposed to dodge them. I guess, like I was saying earlier, maybe the big thing is I should, um, you shouldn't really be using, I mean, it feels incorrect, but, like, is, like, light bow gun not meant for solo? You, you have to have a team so that there's times where the enemy's attacking somebody else? Because I gotta say, solo mode, this seems, like, almost useless. I have used light bow gun in the past, so this is not my first time. It's like this mine is the only thing that does any damage. Oh, did I dodge one? Oh good, some Dodongo material. It's a first aid mat. It's just some first aid mat mats. Just what I needed. Just throwing the slinger bombs at him because I might as well. There we go. Run into my mines. I think if you use piercing ammo, it's maybe possible you can uh, you can um, cut his tail off. I mean, I know his tail is cut-offable, but I've never really been very good at 
knocking those sorts of things off while I'm uh, playing as a bowgun. I mean, I feel like I can't be playing it terribly bad. I'm not an experienced bow gunner, but even when I'm hitting his weak points, it's not like I'm doing a ton of damage. And yeah, that happens. Well, luckily I was in invulnerability frames for that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I had this vitality mantle. I should have been using that. That would have absorbed one or two hits. Oh, I still have a flash pond. Come on, shoot! Do, do lots of damage. While he's confused. But yeah, a hit right to the face is doing what? Like 14 damage? That's really not much. Is there somewhere else I could hit him that would do better? Right in the belly? 23, I guess. I know when his face is red, it works better, but... Then he also likes to do his little spits. It's looking like he's getting tired, which is good, because I'm getting tired. Let's try some rapid fire here. Maybe I should use those mines. Oh, come on! Come on! I had the Vitality Mantle up, so that was lucky, but... He roared, and then by the time the roar was over, he spat, and I had, there was, like, no way to move. I, I honestly, I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. When he just turns quick, it doesn't seem like you have enough time to move out of the way. Hey, he killed himself! <laughs> Thank you! Ah, prepare for an F rating on this arena quest. Now, arena quests, it's possible, I'm just not very familiar with them. Um, they may have a, uh, a balance set to multiplayer mode, rather than like solo mode. And, um, but you can only take two players on them, so even if you have like some friends uh, that you want to play Monster Hunter with, you can still only bring two people. No four player teams here. So yeah, that was, that was, I feel like absolutely terrible. You're supposed to kill him in four minutes? I don't see how that would be even possible. Because you can't bring better weapons or anything. So with that light bow gun, I certainly can't see how you could do a four minute kill ever. Because you can't bring any extra items, you can't change your equipment, it's just what they give you. Now I say it's impossible. I'm sure someone knows how to do it. It's just like, for me, I don't even, I, I can't imagine how that's, I, I don't know what you could do differently. Anyway, there's a really happy episode. Uh, that's the light bow gun. I'm going to try next episode to find one that has an actual heavy bow gun. Because that's what I wanted to show off today. And that was... Uh, the trouble is just the, the icons are very similar. So that was the picture for the light bow gun. I guess the... I guess that one's the heavy bow gun. I should have just gone with the Barith after all, the way we started. And then there's the bow uh, for the the great... Uh, Gear, uh, not Gyrus... Uh, or not great. He's not even great. He's a titsy. Okay, we'll fight a bear off next time, uh, which will probably be terrible um, because he's also kind of a chargey enemy. Again, I'm just showing off some weapons. If I had good, like, better weapons, I would just go on a normal hunt with them, but I don't have, like, I don't have a well designed light or heavy bow gun to show off. But, uh,. Anyway, that's I had an idea, it just didn't work very well. Thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Sometimes Monster Hunter doesn't work out quite the way you want, and you try a new weapon and you just feel like you're useless. That was me today. Maybe next day will be better. See you there. <laughs>